Hey, I'm outside again. I'm hoping to get more outside videos uh, since, you know, the last one and not just the inside videos, which, you know, I'm going to be doing more of those. But I was finding so this area here, Undisclosed State Park in wherever we are at, <laughs> whatever state we're at, which nobody's knowing. But anyway, yeah, this area, you might be re recognized in this area, even though it's all fully grown, from the time that we were, uh, were filming the finding the old car in the woods, which the car is back that way. This area is fascinating because it ain't just got an old car in the woods, it's got a bunch of old, just kind of junk in the woods, which is maybe not just, maybe not even really be junk. So we're going to be finding, taking a look in the woods, finding all this junk that has been uh, dumped out here, and you know, to see what we can find. But this is going to be a special video because we're outside again in a nice state park, but this is an exciting day. Even more exciting than the, the day I brought back my prank videos. Because we've got here someone who you've not, not, nobody's been seeing for a while. Not since about February of this year. No, but after nine months of basically no, no contact, we've got him back. The man himself, Waltronus Maximus. <laughs> Too far. The newbiest gamer on YouTube, Waltronus Maximus himself. Waltronus, he's he is back. What what have you got to be saying for yourself? Um, just, hello. Uh, yeah, that's about all. Yeah, it's, yeah. Cause after about nine months of uh, basically no contact, maybe here and there. I've been finally making contact with life on the outside. I mean, well, his house is kind of on the outside of town and well, so too, but he's in the museum. You're out anyway, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're all uh, different locations. That makes it a bit hard. We're living in a all one neighborhood. This would be so much easier. Anyway. We live in different cities, technically. Yeah, well, whatever. We're going to, be, we're going to be going on ahead with this video, looking for junk. And remember my uh, like and subscriber goals from my last video. But no, 50 subscribers, end of this year, I'm drawing out proof. Alright, get to it. So, first piece of junk here that we've found. <laughs> the <laughs> mushroom. The upside down, oh, yeah. giant size, colossal, very good for soup. Uh, uh, like Vietnamese yeah. soup. Uh, big mushroom. Which I ain't got no idea where that's coming from. Yeah. Thoughts on this? What is, what do you, you gotta get this? that concrete protein, boys? What do you, yeah, what's what is your thought? Yeah, what's this? I'm I've been out of know what these, this about this is about. Anybody oh, got yeah, any thoughts? In the, in the beer to go along with it. What's your opinion on what what this thing could even be? It looks like a piece of metal with cement in it. I'm guessing that it's something to do with traffic. I feel like this was in the ground at one point. Mm-hmm. So I feel like this is probably really deep underground, and maybe it came up to a certain height. And it's a huge you know, when do you think this, what do you the time date is from? Because it's really smooth on the bottom, there. Right? Oh, we got a plate over there. Plates are good. So next piece of next pieces of junk. Now here we got what is looking like three tanks of something that is concreted into the ground in the middle of nowhere. Well, I don't know what these tanks are. I wish I did. So this thing here says, when liquid appears, stop filling. And I'm wondering what that could be, what kind of tanks that could be. Now, if you look in this dial here. A tank that holds um, liquid. Uh, well, Tronus is smart about stuff not school related, but uh, normally what, I am. What uh, what do you think that kind of dial could be could mean? I'm guessing it's either pressure or to indicate how full it is. Reg. There could be a year on this. This is a label here. Reg O. Rego. Patent. The patent underwriters, laborators Inc. Hosted LP gas safety relief valve. This is gas tank. So don't smoke. 
around here or any don't do not be ever smoking do not be vaping either that's the same as cigarettes <laughs> dallas texas quincy illinois probably where they were manufactured uh tank and tank and master welding w2 this this label here is surprisingly well intact probably because it's under the pine tree and pine needles are good for blocking out water water Ooh, yeah. water Wow. 19, one ten, old, one OD inches shell tank head tank. This tank for above ground installation. This tank shall not count as a product having vapor pressure uh, pressure in excess of PSI at 100 degrees Fahrenheit system. TYPA 600P. It's kind of this is more interesting because. Um, it's bigger. Yeah, because it's, it's got no dials or anything, and I'm thinking right here, it's, this part is kind of out more. So, I'm thinking this might have been something that could come off, that could be coming off the whole, the, the thing. Well, this is welded on. Yeah. Yeah, well, then how? Look right here. It's probably gas. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, so it's not, not going to be a question. Yeah. So, yeah. out of all these, what do you what are you thinking that these could be here for? Factory. Like, why were they built just cemented down in the ground in the middle of nowhere? Well, this what this wasn't done for these mm -hmm. here in the woods. This is going to be part of what they were taking from. What's interesting about this area? This area actually was having back in the I think 60s, 70s, a lot of homesteads out here that were getting abandoned when they were filling up. Um, there's a lake over there. It's just an artificial lake that they were filling up uh, over the farmsteads. And there's, so there's all these junk out here that I'm wondering if those were like remnants of old places. So, strange, strange, I think. I mean, the slavery does look older, mm -hmm. but I don't know how much older that would have been. Mm -hmm. Probably not a whole lot. Yeah. Be my guess. But, uh, yeah, they ain't got no years on the. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. There's gas tank. I wonder if this still got gas in it. Nah, that's hollow. Alright, so location number three over here. Kind of forgetting about this one. Kind of correlating to the car, the old car video. We've got what looks like, what it's looking like a piece of car. So what the heck is this? So what even the heck is this? This is looking like a truck bed, right? A little... It's like a sewing wheel. Fishing string thing? Fish, yeah, it could be fishing string. And this, whatever was on it is gone. So that I've got these random pieces of wood here. Mm -hmm. Random pieces of wood here. These are, this is obviously something, and I don't even know what that is. It's looking like it could be part of the truck. Except, it's not. Oh, hey, yeah. This looks like it was a cover to the bed. That somebody made or purchased. Tobacco. <laughs> yeah, open it. Is there any in there? Ah, oh, that is tobacco. That's hilarious. Nothing in there. Damn it. Is this? I don't know what tobacco yeah, that probably is. Looking at room number four, which is probably the most strange out of all this. As, as Jug Squad would say, oh, this is so shit, dude. But no, it is. It really is. This is torn, but... Oh, yeah. I'm get wrecked by that. Is this a floating box? No, this is a pier. Yeah, this is a pier. Is this tire? Yeah, no, this is a pier. A whole entire pier. What the heck? Why would you pick this? Because Ain't this uh, lodging area, because this is also a lodging area, they ain't never wanted to be disposing of this stuff. They always were wanting to be dumping it and putting it somewhere. Huh. Wow, I'm up here. This is also not illegal. And I almost got tetanus from putting my arm on some rusty nails. But good thing I've had my tetanus shot, which was back in 
like spring 2016. Um, Pretty sure that's no longer valid. <laughs> oh, I'm about to be getting myself wrecked on here if I'm taking the wrong step. No, look at this thing. Look at this whole thing. Dude, look, I'm up here. You'll be fine. Yeah, but you also weigh like two pounds. Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, this is once in a water, floating dock. Mm. Yeah, come here. Dude, you're gonna die. No, I'm not. You're gonna get wrecked. Mum boy, a mum boy. You see all this here? Mm. Oh, that's interesting. On those barrels, you can see what was rusted away. You see right here, it's just got the. It's still got the uh, reels on it. And also, this is probably an old light, an old light post. It's maybe kind of looking like what we were seeing back at the front of the of the path. Yeah, but it wouldn't make sense to have yeah, that big concrete weight on the bottom. Yeah, although it's kind of like an anchor, and it almost looks like it should be supposed to be floating almost. Yeah, but it's full of concrete. Uh -huh. Yeah, maybe, maybe it was pulled up afterwards, though. Why would they do that? I don't know. It's, it's just looking similar. So this thing here, I'm guessing it's also probably part of the, the dock. Uh, I think, yeah, there's some, like, this styrofoam, whatever that is. Um, this thing. Is there a crank on it? Uh, no. Yeah, we got this. Rope, metal rope thing here, and then this, I don't even know what that is. But no. you know, we also got a pipe. That's funny. That's funny. I don't know. <laughs> that's funny, that's uh, pipe. I'm wondering why, if these pipes are a part of the dock, or if they were a part of if they were just like buried here, or they were some, from something else, or they were intentionally put here to for like water drainage or something. Yeah, it's drainage. Like, down there. Yeah, there. they ain't really doing a good job because they're all cracked up, like this guy. So this is gonna be it here. Where I've got some more locations around here that I'm gonna be doing. We're gonna be doing some more videos on if you're wanting to be seeing. Like, comment if you want to be more seeing some more videos about this location because it's a fascinating location if you're. A resident of this of this location, but uh, anyway, yeah, this is gonna be it. Well, uh, what? How was your first video after about nine months? Feeling? Well, the question is, isn't my first video, or have I been uploading on a channel you don't know about? Well, that, that's not even really relevant if you ain't even, <laughs> if you're yeah, even um, talking about. It was about a lot of fun. We didn't have as much time as would have been in this, uh, life, but I have to get back and finish them on this. Uh, yeah. Later. See you in yeah. another nine months. Yeah. Get get channel 50 subscribers by the end of this year if you want to see me drop off the roof again. Like I was saying, I just feel like I cannot be stressing that enough. <laughs> but uh, uh, anyway, unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't jump off the roof.